Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Abshi and this is my 2017 gaming setup. Okay, so we're gonna start off my gaming setup with what's in the cabinet down on my desk right here. So first off, I got my PS4 remote right here. It's chilling on my desk, but in here we got my PS4, which is awesome. I got this a couple months ago. I love it. This is where I do all my Call of Duty videos. This is where I game, do all those kind of videos. And then down here, we actually got my laptop, which is hooked up to my monitors, which are up there, but eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD. I upgraded it from one terabyte of hard drive to 256 gigs of SSD. Upgraded that a while ago. Um, it got eight gigs of RAM, like I said, very good computer. So where I do editing, I do light gaming on this. I'm saving up for a new gaming uh, computer. So I'm really hoping I can get that, save up some money, which will be awesome. But yeah, this is the computer I'm rocking right now. It's a Dell, it's Braun. So yeah, so this is my gaming little rig down here. Okay, so moving on to the desk, we're gonna just sit down and kind of move left to right. First, we got my Turtle Beach XO4 Stealth. Uh, this is what I use. Um, it has a 3.5 millimeter adapter cable, so I use these on PC and PS4, which is awesome. Then uh, we got my Blue Yeti right here. I ordered this on Amazon this summer. It's a great microphone. I highly recommend it. Uh, it just sounds really good if you get the audio quality right. Whenever you're recording, it just sounds amazing. Really recommend this microphone. It has done me lots of good things. Um, got my little windscreen on top, so it can kind of protect the P's and B's. It's kind of like a pop filter but it's kind of like more compact, so it's just on here. Then next up, I got my Razer Black Widow Chroma um, tournament edition, so it's a little bit smaller, so I can use a lot more uh, room for my mouse. But this is my Razer Black Widow Chroma. I got this for Christmas yesterday. Super thankful, it's a mechanical gaming keyboard if you guys can't hear it. Mechanical gaming keyboard, it got the chroma lights on it. Looks super awesome, I'm super thankful I got that. Uh, next up, I got my gaming monitor. Now this is an insane monitor. It's a 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor. So it's a lot wider. It's 2560 by 1080, which is absolutely insane. So gaming on this is super cool and video editing is gonna be amazing. Whenever I'm editing this video, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm super thankful for that. It's an LG two millisecond response time gaming monitor, like I said, but it's just a super amazing monitor. I'm super happy I got this. Okay, next up I got my Razer Death Adder Chroma. Got the spectrum lights on it. I uh, got my little keys right here, my little buttons. 10,000 DPI, so it's insane. Circling through the lights if you guys can see, but it's really good. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I had this cheap like $10 Logitech mouse, like the standard one, um, which is honestly is really crappy, but I got this, this is amazing. Got the nice scroll wheel right here, but this is an amazing gaming mouse. Highly recommend this. Um, if you guys are really wanting to invest in gaming, I really recommend this for PC. Yeah, overall it's just a really good monitor. Highly recommend it. It's got the braided cable right here. Same with the Razer Black Widow Chroma. It's got the braided cable, which is super nice. So you can hold that. It's, you won't get ruined or anything. So just overall high quality mouse. Really recommend it for PC game. But yeah, so moving on, we got my PS4 hooked up to this monitor right here. Now this is an insignia monitor it's really bad honestly it's not good at all but you know a it works for ps4 i don't really play ps4 other than for making videos um i play a lot of pc games so it works though um got multiplayer set up on infinite warfare but yeah this is my uh monitor that i use for all ps4 gaming all for consoles so looks like double xp weekend's going on but yeah this is the whoops i just hit the camera this is the monitor i use for ps4 for console gaming so yeah, it's not, it's not a good monitor, but I got the PS4 hooked up to it, so whenever I just wanted to chill, hang out, maybe make a YouTube video, I just hop on this, so, yeah, not too good, but, hey, I'm working with what you got. Yeah, guys, this is my gaming setup, um, got the Razer Black Widow with the Spectrum lights, the Razer Death Adder right there, I'm gonna get some lights back here, I'll do it, I'll do a new gaming setup in about maybe two months, because I got, I got a really cool surprise for you guys, don't want to spoil it at all, um, it's, kind of, it's a pretty cool surprise. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, no one's going to know about it, so... Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to spoil it, so you guys will have to check back in like two months uh, for a new gaming setup room tour. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, please 
leave a like down in the description. Please also subscribe if you guys haven't already. Uh, one more time, this is my gaming setup. So I got all that set up, the 21 by nine monitor, all that, the blue Yeti right here, amazing, the Chromas, uh, Razer products, my other monitor for PS4 and all that stuff, but yeah. But yeah, again, this is my gaming setup, so please leave a like down below if you guys haven't already. Subscribe if you guys wanna check out more videos and comment down below any video suggestions for the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.